So, in the workshop tonight, with the build-up of a bike, not my bike, this is going to be the 2024 race season bike of Amy Henshaw, who you might have seen cameo in a couple of videos before, giving her expert XC opinion. Expert. On... <laughs> oh, come on. Be the only World Cup racer I know I ride with regularly. <laughs> right, so, yeah, you explain yourself, Amy. So, so what's your what's your... You know your racing career so far short and violently successful i would say i got a bit lucky um yeah found um started racing two one two two, two, two years two seasons years ago. ago yeah we started yeah. running together in covid yeah. yeah we did started running together in covid uh um, um, suffered through a year of riding with you lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Almost as bad as where you used to train, which was in the belly of a hydrographic survey ship yep. <laughs> in, the, in the Indian Ocean. Yeah, I'm That's not, where you found your legs, right? Yeah, I'm not quite sure which was worse, down in the uh, engine room of a boat or suffering at the back of a TNFC. <laughs> yeah, but now you're uh, making us suffer from the front TNFC. <laughs> so anyway, uh, you've raced World uh, Cup Marathon. Yep. You were the English, sorry, the UK national marathon champion. 2022. Uh, smashed that one. Uh, top five elite XC as well in your first season. Yes. Yeah. I think I was fifth overall. Um, yeah. Yeah. And uh, you raced the Swiss Epic last year as well. Yeah. Big stage. Basically the Toblerone version of the Cape Epic in South Africa. Yeah. In Switzerland. Incredible trails. That was yeah, amazing. That, that looked yeah. good. From your yeah. video footage best descents in a race ever <laughs> yeah that looked like something that would actually even if you weren't racing yeah they, it would have been good to ride those courses yeah they just need, for the hell of they need to kind of edited out the what presumably hour after hour of alpine <laughs> gravel grind. climbing yeah. yeah just have the lovely milk of cows and the sweet meadowy yeah. track. But, so anyway top racer specializing in particular in marathon racing Yep. Correct. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, what's your new bike for this season? So, for this season, we've got um, an intense T, Sniper T. So, this is the trail version, technically, which means 120 front and back and the longer rear end as well. Um, okay, that's yeah, interesting. Yeah, that's... Different rear triangle. Because um, normally, you just get a different same, shock. Yeah, yeah, same bike, put some different forks in it. But um, yeah, so this geometry is, is actually, actually different. Yeah, yeah. Um, interesting. Because I mean, intense a brand you associate with racing, mm. but more on the downhill gravity side. Yeah, exactly. I would say. Um, I mean, it's been a long time since I've ridden one, to be fair. Uh, but the last time I rode a sniper, very very quick bike. Yeah. Very yeah. quick. And so, what what brought you onto the brand specifically? Uh, that, yeah, I kind of had a bit of a chat with some of their brand reps, and they. They really seem to know what they're talking about. We're happy to discuss the uh, pros and the cons of the bike. Um, but And you've got the, mates who ride them as well. Yes, and we do yeah, we do have friends that are good descenders and uh, they rate them, so it can't yeah, must be must be pretty decent downhill. So it's full um, carbon frame, 120 yeah. mil, yeah. Uh, even got carbon linkage on it. Really neat one as well. I have to say that looks yeah, really very really pretty neat. raw carbon and it's a vpp system mm -hmm. because intense and santa cruz actually licensed it at the same time off outland i didn't know that yeah mm -hmm. that's the kind of thing you see that's where you get that yeah. old man value <laughs> that's why people <laughs> watch this channel yeah exactly yeah outland originally had the vpp mm -hmm. uh suspension design and uh santa cruz and intense Oh. had it at the same time and the intense one has always been a little bit more aggressive it's always yeah. been a little bit more sort of but pedal pro positive that's, and that's definitely yeah, I think that's, that's I mean I've not ridden it yet but mm. Santa Cruz have moved to a sort of more mellow more neutral mm. setup with VPP recently whereas the intense seemed to have stayed with the old one mm. so uh, looks like oh look at that it hasn't got headset cable routing it has not that well, was that's the thank be a god plus. moment that I yeah when I, I was looking at the frame and that was a massive thing. If you're, uh, if you just ride for yourself or you, yeah, not sponsored at all, have to deal with your own bike maintenance. Yeah. Oh, it's a dream come true. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So it's full privateer season this season yeah. for you, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Uh, 
The other thing, relatively simple, it's got a remote, sorry, it's got a manual lockout mm-hmm. yep. on the uh, float. Yeah, just under, there. just underneath. So, yeah, you'll learn where it is. Yeah, exactly. You'll know where it is soon. <laughs> and it's a standard gear rear gear hanger as well. Yes. Not UDH. No, not UDH, but yeah, I have been told that they're, yeah, bringing out a new rear triangle soon that will be U- UDH if anyone does fancy converting it. Fair. Personally, for me, I prefer old access, so I'm yeah, happy. Yeah, we'll get into that chat about parts and everything as you build it up later. Uh, and weight? This is a medium? This is a medium. I weighed it just before we got here, and it was 2.32 kilos. And that's with seat collar, axles, yeah. gear hanger, bottle bolts, exactly. shock, everything yeah. like that. All yeah. the things that sometimes mysteriously disappear when manufacturers weigh yes. <laughs> weigh bikes. So that's that's a pretty decent weight yeah, for yeah, a 120 mil bike, yeah. certainly. So, uh, mm. right, let's crack on with the build. Let's go. <laughs> So, bike build 101, always go with the dropper first. It's really tempting. We're like, oh, what do we do first? It's like, it's so tempting to like go with a fork or kind of get a big item on there first so it looks like a bike. And then you go, oh, why did I put the bottom bracket in when I haven't really the, the uh, dropper cable? So, I actually remembered this time. Dropper first. We're winning. We're winning already. And you've gone with? Uh, Fox Transfer SL. Um, Just because it's light. It's light, yeah. Reliable. 125 yep. mil, is it? Drop, no, 100, 100 mil. 100. I oh. think you can get 125 Proper mil. Proper racy. Yeah, all in race. <laughs> Fair play. First year raced on it with no dropper. I can cope with only 100 Factory? mil. Factory? Sorry? Factory or Performance Elite? Are we going to see gold? Yeah. No, no Value. gold. That's all right. I mean, just go better with the bike, to be fair. Yeah. I mean, you have got a gold shock. Mm. But Kashima never matches, does it? No. It never seem matches, to. and we won't mention what fork you put in, and we don't want to make people cry already. <laughs> we'll let people wait for that surprise. Yeah, yeah, that. Yeah, I don't think it's an Easter egg. It's a rotten egg. <laughs> Breaking surprise news: we won't be fitting the dropper post first. After all, <laughs> turns out I was not. We were not expecting this frame to be piped. No, it's not got at full all. internal cable routing, even for the dropper. So rather than guessing what length the cable needs to be. We can actually fit forks. Yeah. We can get that eyesore out of the way with straight yep. away. Fit bar and stem, get the front end together, and then fit the dropper post. Yeah. It's always a school day. <laughs> right, come on, Amy. Face the camera and face the music. Explain yourself about this fork. <laughs> yeah. I mean, to be fair, well, it looked a bit of an eyesore on your Scott last year. Yeah, it did, didn't it? Yeah. yeah. But to be fair, in a pairs race, Jane thought it was brilliant because all she had to do was look just slightly under her shoulder and she'd see a blue fork and know I was right on her wheel. So there you good go. for pairs that, yeah. you had, Did you have that answer prepared? Because <laughs> I was going to fully roast you over that. And, it, it's, and yeah, it's Sid Ultimate, 120 yep. uh, so it's, What's the head angle on this bike with that in? 66 and a half. Nice. So pretty traily. Yeah, should be. And then bar and stem... Which are just oh, about God. to savage. Yep. So mount zoom in it. Yeah, mount zoom. Oh, we didn't weigh it. We need to weigh that because that's going to be light. It is light. I'm just tied yeah. up in the bolts, <laughs> which are tiny, scary tiny. Scary not tiny. Gonna lie. But mount zoom is quite a big thing amongst you. You race for folk. Yeah, yeah, they are. Um, they do a lot of um, this sort of thing, lightweight, um, but race race appropriate and stems especially actually really rate them for because i spent last year as yeah it's quite hard for me to get my body position low enough and they've got all sorts of stems from diddy little ones to massive ones with minus like minus 16 um degrees on them so because it's not it's not just kind of media that ignores racers no, it? It, yeah, it's the component bike manufacturers, is... bike shops. Mm. It, it's kind of its own little yeah. micro climate, micro yeah. environment, isn't yeah. it? Of, Especially as we're now of getting... importers. Because am I right in thinking the guys who import Mount Zoom race as well? Yes, chap called Ant White. Yeah. Oh, God, is Ant White? <laughs> it's Ant White. Oh, yeah. my Lord. Oh, God, that <laughs> takes me right back to like the Bike Magic forums when I was right for Bike Magic in like <laughs> year 2000. He was, yeah, he'd be wrestling Mike Hall and everything, all the old 24 hour races. 
Oh, oh. Ash just awesome. Yeah. That those guys are still going and still like getting... <laughs> still racing. Oh, hello. I'm in Lanzarote at the moment. <laughs> hello, Ant. Enjoy Lanzarote. Thanks for sorting Amy out with the <laughs> decent lightweight kit. Oh, that is funny. Right, anyway, we'll crack on with the build. You're cutting yep. your bars down. Yep. Narrower. Of Narrower. Because <laughs> you're a racer. And what do you normally go on? Just feel? Shoulder width? Yeah, a bit of feel. Um, mainly feel, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the um, my trail bike set at um, 740 because that anything wider feels like you're just stretching your arms really wide for me. Um, yeah, so it's, yeah. yeah. If you're, and what height are you? 172 centimeters. You're pretty tall then, actually. Yeah. Relatively tall. Yeah, relatively. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Cause you're not, I mean, I'm 180. So, but anyway, uh, but yeah. So you used to be a climber. Yes. But that hasn't stretched your shoulders out any. It mm. seems not in terms of bars Doesn't anyway. Doesn't seem to have no. Right. <laughs> it's just given me a really long ape index, so uh, bikes right. always have me sat upright. <laughs> yeah, because you tried you tried on Cervelo, my Cervelo, and it didn't yeah. quite fit. That was no. one option we were looking at for this season. Yeah, so, but uh, anyway, blathering on. Uh, let's crack on with the bike build anyway. Yeah, but yeah, no, okay, yeah. Can't believe you had a legitimate <laughs> explanation <laughs> for that horror show blue on the fork. <laughs> damn you, damn you. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I think he's just a bit broken, to be honest, Amy. Sorry, Amy's now coming to uh, terms with some of my more antiquated uh, cutting guide. There is another cutting guide, actually. I feel maybe, like maybe... My, uh, my normal job of just doing it freehand might be better than this. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, it's not looking great. No, it? I think freehand's going to be better. You reckon? Tell you what, shall you swap over? Because I was just going to do a bit about tie prepping bolts because again this really takes me back like uh proper titanium bolts like little tiny ones out of like sylvanian families and then super thin wall stem with lightning on so it must be quick uh so yeah we'll get right you do these yeah and uh i'll give you i'll the, savage um... your bar using my hideous cutter guide right time for a swap swap Neil Halcrow has entered the chat. When I come to do a bike, I do it properly. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Nipex, as is known to his friends. Nipex. And a uh, bit of bit of Vera Lynn as well there. Yeah, Vera Lynn screwdrivers and everything. Vera yeah, I should, yeah, I should I should introduce Neil properly. Uh, but I don't know what you actually do. For, you you do stuff for white. Look handsome, scare people off trade stands. Do demo stuff. Slightly angry. Yeah, um, kind of moody. Official title. Resting demo face. <laughs> 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 and what are you doing? <laughs> and, and you do racing, and you're a carer for the Welsh contingent of the white race yeah. team. Official titles, training and events manager. There you go. So yeah. And you also are the mastermind behind my workshop. Actually, looking. Some yeah, decent. I, I do take the credit for that. Yeah, yeah. You, yeah. You, 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 you told me where to go to get all the nice SGS tool cabinets. I always told stuff. you where to go. But yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and also, <laughs> if you look here, I mean, luckily I'm saved in this instance because uh, Amy's here and we're actually working. But Neil's also my parole officer for the workshop. Yeah. So if and sorry, you explain the rules. Well, you came up with the rules, but it's pretty much the workshop has always got to be tidy on a spot check that can be either pre-planned or... I mean, you've, you've t literally turned up my door before. Yeah, going, hi. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And first time, I lose one salt and pepper pot. Is that right? Then my hope... Oh, I don't know. Has it changed, yeah. does it? Yeah, I think so. No, or, do, just, or is it just one, just one and out? I just thought it's one and out. It's... Uh, well, it may as well be. Nobody it's wants more, nobody more. wants the salt and not the pepper, do they? <laughs> no. <laughs> no use to anybody. Yeah, so basically, my little hope, salt and pepper pot, me, you did come up me, me retaining... Yeah, well, I need yeah. this kind of incentive yeah. scheme. Yeah. Me retaining ownership of them depends on me having a clean workshop when you come round. Yeah, and this, I'll let you off this, to be honest, because... Yeah. Yeah. To be fair, when I did walk in the room, it was pretty damn tidy on the workbench. Yeah. Thanks, Amy. Thanks. Got your back. <laughs> Thanks, Amy. Yeah. Yeah, I do. He's got an excuse for everything, not just blue SIDS on a fox in. bike. I did get some intel the other day from Mr. Matt Skinner that apparently when he called you, your 
to uh, chat about the e-light review your um yeah your workshop wasn't that tiny so i have eyes everywhere <laughs> That's the point, yeah. <laughs> damn did i even answer the call like did i answer the call not. down yeah. here <laughs> This is shocking. Can't believe I'm being secret shoppered by my old editor who's now marketing at White. But it has got to be a physical Yeah. Physical Yeah, it's it's, so, non, yeah. it's yeah. non it's non admissible. No. That's basically breaking and entering. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. But I will be planting a small surveillance camera when you're not looking. <laughs> yeah, mate. That is not gonna be the OnlyFans channel anyone wants to see. No. I've seen the way you advertise uh Peter's Peter's brush. brushes. So yeah, we, we were going to bring, you know, as a, you know, it's all kicked off with the muck off campaign. Me yeah. and Bryn were talking about, we should really bring that Petey's brush advert back out. Hey up, today we've got a really big reveal from Petey's products. Brushes. And unlike me, Steve gives everyone wood. Beach. This tyre brush goes sideways so you don't get spray in your face, even off a big knob. Well, this kinky little number is perfect for going right up to the knuckle without getting hurt. And then you've got this beauty for awkward to reach places. And it even has a soft cotton tip, you know, for romantic sensitivity. But the one I'm most excited to show you is this beauty, lovely round head for getting right in on those big tubes without banging into the frame. Well, I'm really excited to be showing you these. Well, well not, not that excited, as you can see, but then it's, it's cold in the workshop today. Anyway, Petey's Bike Brushes, available now if you're quick.